Strategy Management Series Video Number 16, The Design School of Strategy Welcome back to the Ready MBA Series on Strategy Management In our last video, we reviewed the 10 schools of strategy as outlined by Henry Mintzberg, Bruce Alstrand, and Joseph Lampel in the 1998 book Strategy Safari Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of strategy management and exploring the Design Strategy School. The Design School, as described in the book Strategy Safari, offers a unique perspective on strategy formulation. It views strategy as a creative and intuitive process driven by the vision of top executives who define the goals and strategic direction for the organization. The Design School emphasizes long-term orientation by setting goals, developing multi-year strategic plans, and aligning resources for sustained competitive advantage. Its focus on long-term vision helps organizations navigate the dynamic business landscape effectively. This approach ensures a clear direction and enables organizations to navigate the dynamic business landscape effectively. One of the defining characteristics of the design school is its systematic and analytical approach to strategy formulation. It involves clear objectives, thorough analysis, and logical planning. However, the design school also acknowledges the importance of intuition and creative leaps in strategic decision-making. The Design School recognizes that the business environment is ever-changing and unpredictable, emphasizing the need for flexibility and adaptability in strategy development. Strategies may evolve and change based on new insights or unexpected events, allowing organizations to respond effectively to market dynamics. In the design school, decision-making is rational and data-driven, involving in-depth analysis, logical reasoning, and well-informed choices. This ensures that strategies are well-calculated and based on a thorough understanding of the industry, customer needs, and competitive dynamics. The design school has a lower tolerance for risk, emphasizing minimizing risks through careful analysis, planning, and control mechanisms. This approach ensures that strategies are feasible, well aligned with organizational resources, and have a higher chance of success. The design school focuses on incremental innovation and change, gradually optimizing existing processes and strategies to maintain stability. This approach allows for effective change management while ensuring the organization's core operations remain uninterrupted. By prioritizing incremental improvements, the design school provides a solid foundation for long-term success. It also allows organizations to adapt without disrupting core operations. The Design School places great importance on coordination and alignment, recognizing the need for a systematic and planned approach to strategy formulation. This ensures that organizational actions and resources are aligned, promoting a cohesive and unified effort towards achieving strategic goals. Now, let's examine the pros and cons of the Design School. On the positive side, the Design School offers structure and guidance in strategy development, ensuring comprehensive analysis and deliberate approach to formulation. It supports a well-structured process and facilitates strategic decision-making. However, like any school of thought, the Design School has its limitations. Strategic management frameworks, while useful, may oversimplify the complexities of the field and fail to address emerging opportunities or challenges. It is crucial to supplement them with guidance to effectively translate strategies into actionable plans. The design school is well suited for stable and predictable environments where a clear plan is needed. 
It is favored in industries that require product or service differentiation, such as technology, fashion, consumer goods, and creative arts. It can be relevant for both small startups and larger organizations looking to revitalize their offerings. The outcome of the design school is the creation of a unique and coherent strategy that aligns with the organization's goals and the external environment. The deliverables may include visual strategy maps, concept sketches, prototypes, and design briefs, facilitating visualization, communication, and effective strategic design. Now, let's discuss some potential flaws associated with the design school. First, it may lack analytical rigor as its focus on creativity and intuition sometimes overshadows the need for comprehensive analysis. Second, it may have limited focus on implementation, requiring additional guidance in translating strategies into action. Third, it may neglect external factors that shape the business environment. Fourth, it may result in incoherence and inconsistency due to the iterative and creative approach. Finally, it may not emphasize formalization and control mechanisms, leading to challenges in monitoring and evaluating strategic. The design school offers valuable perspectives on strategy formulation, emphasizing creativity, long-term orientation, and analytical thinking. However, it's crucial to complement this approach with other schools of strategy to address potential limitations and broaden considerations in strategic planning processes. That's it for today's video on the Design Strategy School. Remember to subscribe to Ready MBA for more engaging and informative content on business strategy. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll explore one example of how a company could use the Design School of Strategy. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep strategizing for success.